Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm back again with another video. And welcome to the mental house. Whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, I'm so glad that you're here. And uh, let's talk about it. Because uh, I heard a story over the weekend about a couple who injected their child with, uh, I think it was uh, either heroin or morphine. Um, and they got caught because they were trying to steal out of Walmart. And uh, he got caught. The guy dropped the baby. The baby is just a few days old. And the baby was addicted to narcotics. And I know that a lot of you guys go, um, what the hell is that? How can you possibly be so cruel to inject your baby with drugs? You know, you have some people that are narcissists because they're addicts. Okay? And if you address the addiction, Maybe that behavior will change. Okay? And yes, while I'm outraged, I'm not. Well, let me just keep it real. I, I have a family member that that um, happened to. Um, my aunt, a couple, few decades ago, as a matter of fact, the, the, the child in question now is even passed away. And he was born with a bad heart and he was born addicted to drugs, uh, heroin to be exact. And because my aunt, uh, well, back in the day, they didn't put people in jail if their child was born addicted or anything. It wasn't as frequent as or crazy as it is now which unfortunately for the children back then, they were just left to fend for themselves with junky ass parents, okay? And I have an aunt who had a child that was addicted to heroin. He was born addicted. And so the baby wouldn't stop crying. And uh, my uncle took a little, um, oh, spider took a little heroin on his finger and um, the story I heard, like I said, I'm allegedly the story I heard that passed around my family and they took just a teeny bit and put it in the baby's mouth because uh, the baby kept crying and the nurses couldn't figure out what was wrong with him. Oh well, my aunt and uncle knew because they had made the baby on dope. And so they put a little bit on their fingertip, put it right in the baby's mouth. And that baby starts sucking that finger, and that baby shut up. No one was the wiser, and they got that baby up out of the hospital. What disturbs me, though, really about this story is where is the war on Percocet? and pills and meth, morphine. Where is the war on drugs for this epidemic that these white girls and white boys are having with this heroin? Uh, when are you going to incarcerate people instead of calling it a health crisis? Because that's not what is called when it's black people addicted to crack that you deliberately put in the areas for them to use and to make them sick because you knew they were in depressed areas. Um, Y'all know the story. Jeff Webb is dead because of it. But why, is it, why isn't there a war on drugs 
on meth users. I think that um, there are being too many children destroyed, too many crashes where the parents are, the kids are being subjected to being in the cars with their parents who are ODing with children. There's too many situations where uh, they're having crashes because they are falling out and nodding on slot, lo, uh, alongside the wheel. And nothing is being done in terms of calling it an epidemic. No, they call it an epidemic, but I'm talking about it in terms of there's nothing being done in terms of incarceration and having it considered a, a war on the white folks that use these drugs. Because not many black people use crystal meth. I can tell you that right now. That's not a black drug. If you say crack, I would be, yeah. But we don't, we're not a, a crystal meth taking group. So it really disturbs me. Um, because these things are, and heroin, they're just as dangerous, uh, if not more. And uh, ultimately, who suffers are the children. The children suffer. So, when I think about this, and when I saw that, I want to know who is understanding this epidemic? Who is uh, deciding that it's a health crisis as opposed to uh, not uh, a criminal enterprise that not that needs to be addressed and people jailed? Because I think that in all equality and in all justice and fairness, that we're going to start having to have a war on crystal meth. Excuse me, folks. Let me get this umbrella.